Meat bags, friends, strangers, and friendly meat bag strangers, I come to you today with more garbage from Cyrax. Before we get into it though, just want to shout him out in a very special way. Hey Chance. Gotcha. Say goodbye to the Otaku Groove Factory, we bombed it into dust with all the ammo you gave us. You see, Chance, when we report you, it's not because you hurt our feelings or we're actually scared. There are rules here, Chancey Pants, and you break them constantly. Every time you do, you give us an opportunity to take you down. While I'm sure you're searching for your next way back on here, I want to invite everyone watching to indulge in a big sigh of relief. Seeing you go down in flames is, well, it's just the bee's knees rack so. Anyway, here we have a reaction from him just before his channel was destroyed. Let's hear what he thinks of some hyper-generic music. What is going on YouTube fam? I am back on the channel. Today, we are reacting to Why Is Love So Hard by Peyton Parrish featuring Adam Gautier from the massively, massively famous band Three Days Grace, but more recently from the band Saint Sonia, which by the way, Santa Sonia, love that band, fucking amazing music. Now this apparently dropped 12 days ago, so this is still fairly new. I've heard of it, I've seen the, uh, sorry, we're not talking man, shit. <laughs> but I've seen the trailer, and from the little bit that I did see from like the little mini trailer they put out, this looks like it's going to be fucking amazing. Taste in music is of course a very relative thing. If you happen to enjoy this, that's perfectly cool. You do you. Chance's taste in music reminds me of generic food at Walmart. Nothing special really, just the same vaguely hard rock sound. Hearing him heap praise on this is a bit like listening to someone rave about Burger King. So if you guys do enjoy this, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell found down below. Stay up to date with everything on the channel. I'm excited to get into this, man. And if you guys are too, you already know what to do. And, uh, yeah. With that being said, let's get into this, man. I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I love, absolutely, love the look on her face. It's like she's saying, oh my god. Could this shit be any more generic? Dude, just to pause right there for a second, I love what he's talking about in the very beginning because if you've ever been in a relationship with somebody and you end up splitting up, sometimes you often ask yourself, hey, will I be okay when you're gone? Like, will I survive this? Will I be okay? Whoa, boy, hold on a minute. You have been in like three pseudo relationships and not once was the breakup a mutual parting of ways. I've been in a lot of relationships, especially abusive ones. That's when it really, that's when it really tends to happen the most. It's because when you become... And when you become so used to the abuse, it almost becomes an addiction. And then when you finally break away. Okay, here's the thing, Raxi. You've never actually had to, quote unquote, break away. You've been living in that house for years. The Heathers came to you. They left you too. They're the only ones who did any breaking away. And Chance, if you seriously think they were abusive, then you're even more out of touch than I thought you were. Hell, from what I've seen, you were the one being abusive. Remember that time one of the Heathers asked you to leave the room so she could talk to someone? You kept coming back in, she kept telling you to leave and at one point you looked like you were getting ready to hit her. Only she chased you off before you could. That isn't abuse, that's self-defense on her part. And you get away from it, you often, you know, that person often leaves or you end up leaving that person. And as you're going through that process, you do often ask yourself, will I be okay without you? Like, is this what I'm meant to be? 
So, dude, hitting home right off fucking rip, dude. Freaking amazing. Seems fairly obvious that he's just parroting what he heard other survivors of domestic abuse say. It's nauseating to see and hear him claim to be a survivor of something he truly doesn't understand. Anyway, back to the mediocrity. Wow, dude, I got freaking goosebumps from that, man. Dude, that was so good, man. Oh my god, that was so amazing. Oh my gosh. That was so well done, dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, this song is going straight away into my Santa Sonia and Peyton Parrish playlist, man. Like, that song hit home on so many levels. Because like I said, when you're in a very toxic relationship, and you finally break away from it, you do often find yourself asking, you know, will I be okay without you? And then you end up leaving for good, and you make that sever, and there's always that little voice in the back of your head that just keeps on saying, you know, just keep hanging on a little bit longer, it'll be okay. But at the same time, you are constantly at war with yourself, always asking, like, am I going to be okay? Is this the right move? Like, will I be okay without you? I'm like, is this the road that I'm meant to go down? But dude, overall, such an amazing, amazing song, dude. Like, that song definitely hit home. Like, I would have reacted more, but dude, that song just hit so close to home. Because like I said, I've been in many, many verbally, mentally, and emotionally abusive relationships. So I understand how, how dark things can get very, very quick. How things can seem to be going so well one minute, and then just change at the drop of a hat. Oh my gosh, man. It's such an amazing song, man. Absolutely love it, man. Massive shout out to Adam Donald Bear, Big Harry. Well, we all knew Chance was a major league poser, but moving on to fake DV, ugh, that's a new low. Even for him. Thanks for watching this, have an amazing 24 hours.